16 June 1976, a day to remember in the history of this country, a day in which the students took the revolution by the scruff of the neck and decided enough is enough. Enough with uh, enslaving education. Enough with Bantu education, as it was called at that time. Enough of this social engineering project which was dreamed up by these Afrikaners, these Calvinists, who felt that they need to condition black people to enslavement, to accepting their second-class status, to give it some permanency, to give it some permanency as a continuance of the colonial project to enslave African people. I remember it also for another reason. In 1977, in the school that I was in, uh, the school was in bad shape. The facilities were really, were really bad. And uh, we decided to burn the school. We decided to burn the school. And uh, the fire came from my dormitory, actually. I won't say who did what, but uh, 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 we know what happened. We know who did what. Uh, net effect is that the school was burned. As a result, government responded, of course, the usual fashion for that time, with uh, mass incarceration, uh, with beatings, detentions without trial, and so forth. We, we, we were sort of used to that. And, uh, you know, it didn't faze us at some point. We said, okay, it's coming, uh, but this act is worth it. Let's do this and, uh, and, and damn the rest. That was our attitude. The net effect is that also on the government, from the government side, besides the violence which they meted uh, out on us, they, uh, they built a school. They built a new school, a really, truly outstanding school, actually. Uh, and it still stands to this day as a beautiful school. They built it. And I think this is the lesson, this is the lesson that we take out of this, that, uh, and especially for government, especially for people in, uh, in, uh, in positions of power and authority, that, uh, and especially for this country also, that if government responds to the needs of the people, they do what they say they're going to do, number one, but they also do the things that people require, the people that they demand. And in this country, it's easy. What are we talking about? The struggle. What did people struggle for? Everybody knows what the people struggle for. Everybody knows exactly even the items of issues that people struggle for. This government, the post-1994 government, has not fulfilled those needs. And because of that, you still find the social unrest. You still find the social upheaval. They cause it. They cause it. People know the struggle. People remember the struggle. They know what they struggled for. They know what they struggled about. I repeat, the school that we burned in 1977 stands to this day, untouched, still the same structure, beautiful. I've, 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 I've been there to look at it in the past year or so. It's still there. It's beautiful. And this proves one thing. If you deliver on the demands and the wants of the people, they are going to respond positively. They are even going to protect those things, those structures, those uh, buildings that you've built for their benefit. It hasn't happened in this government, and that's why I still find the social hundreds. It is obscene that today we're talking about fees must fall, when one of the key tenets of the struggle of 1976, of that uprising, was free education for everybody. It hasn't happened. People should get free education. People should get better facilities, good facilities, good quality of education. It hasn't happened. And for the youth, that's exactly the lesson. Struggle for a cause that you meet. Struggle for a cause that you meet the objectives of. Aluta continua.